I'm going down with this is the hot road, so we're at Las Vegas, Nevada. Man, it's a crazy here. Crazy people. I'm just getting swamped from everybody. Woo! Wow, man, check this thing out, a beautiful Lake 33 coop, and here I am with the owner, Wayne, how you doing, man? Hey, great, how you doing? Thanks oh, for coming over. Wayne, what a beautiful car, man, like, I mean, there's so many beautiful cars here, but some cars just rise to the top like Freeman or don't they? and this coop's one of them. Thanks so yeah. much. Thanks for your comments. Wayne, like, like this, this really, this, this is just a, just a picture perfect Lakester, isn't it? You know, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You know, yeah. this is kind of reminiscent of uh, the old Bonneville Salt Flat car, Edwards Air Force Base. Yes. Guys came back from the war, had some money, they had a pent up demand for speed. So this is kind of our iteration yeah. of what that is today. Right. And like, like, tell us a little bit about, you know, like, how long has this taken, you know, to be built like this? So this car started about two years ago. Yeah. I got involved with Eric Black, Eat Black Design, and uh, he, we worked together with the drawing about what. We we wanted to build yes. and then uh, we started so from start to finish the car was about 16 months uh, from the time we started wow. construction. That's not a long build, you know. Like no, no, things. actually, no, it's not. Yeah. It's not. Uh, cars all steel. It was an old 60s hot rod yeah. starting out. So this is not a glass car. No, right. This is a real wow. deal. I'd 1933. Touch it. There yeah. you go. There you go. And of course, Flathead. Yeah, the flat you can't end. you can't beat the flat end. Beat There's the flat nothing end. better, man. Flat ends make me horny, man. Yeah, me too. Oh, me man, too. they're just gorgeous, aren't they? They are. They were really gorgeous. But, but this is a special cut. I mean, there's, you've done a number on this that people would it's, like. It's not. What they'd, you be, think. they'd be googling to find out what happened. It's well, you know, it's it's one of those deals. I'll let Byron tell you all about yeah. the intake manifold system. Uh, Byron Thiessen was the builder of the car. Creative yeah. Concepts, warm in Saskatchewan. Yeah. Wow, man. Like, would we, like, is there anyone else that you would like to give credit to for the car before we bring Byron in? You know, there's so many people. Yeah. Eric Black, Bruce Williams, yeah. uh, Wes Moscow over Creative Concepts, yeah. um, Troy Trepanier, yeah, Rad really Ross by it, Troy, yeah. Pinky's Rod Shop, wow. uh, Ellen man, Johnson you, Johnson's you're, you're Hot Rod up, Shop. You're rolling oh, up yeah, all, yeah, yeah. We all had, the elite. Uh, yeah, all the boys got involved. Yeah. You know, they're all you know friends of mine, and wow. we just we just did kind of all they all had yeah. little snippets of things to do with the car yeah. uh, along the way. And of course, the metal work is really Byron. Yes. Yeah, unbelievable craftsman yeah. young guy and this was you know this is his first car he built for me really yeah and I mean the guy is unbelievable yeah. I mean he doesn't have any crazy tools no. it's all just he his Harbor Freight yeah. 2995 I mean it's it's unbelievable what he does yeah. with, with with very little with very little tools yeah. I mean so craftsmen cool. aren't they aren't yeah. they, are they gifted you know yeah. in well, the way they, they can just bring things are. out of the air yeah. put them in the head and Use the hands to put them on a car. That's right. That's I mean, absolutely right. Yeah, where's Byron? Let's bring Byron, Byron in. Hey, somewhere. come on, Brian. Byron. Come on down. You're the next contestant on the Hot Rod Show. <laughs> How you doing, Byron? Real good. Hey, Byron. I, 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 they, you know, Wayne tells me you're the guy that all the credit should be going to. For oh, building no. This no, I, I built it, but I don't get all the credit. There's a lot of great well, people you, involved you, with yeah, the car. Yeah, your, your, your team, I, I would, you know. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And, and who are they? Um, West Moscow is the main guy that works in the shop with yeah. me at the shop, but there's so many guys like Eric yeah. Black, Bruce Williams, yeah. lots and lots of great people helped out on the yeah. car. Can you tell us about the flathead? Like Wayne's saying, you know, you can explain a little bit more about this because there's some stuff going on here that I don't think anyone's ever seen before. Sure, basically it's it's a it's a Ford Flathead 1953 yeah. vintage. Um, what we did is we smoothed the whole block out, got yeah. rid of all the casting, so on. Um, it's an Inglis format fuel injection system that Troy Trepanier is, is converted all to a multi-port fuel injection yeah. system so it's all hid inside the yeah. block. Yeah, like we're going to have a look at that in a moment because like you can't see any fuel lines. No, coming. it's all hid, People yeah. are going to go that, like look at that and scratch the head, you know, they'll be scratching all the hair out like me. It's a know? lot of work to try and hide, yeah. you know, all the ugly stuff it, it, for sure. On a flathead especially, you know. Yeah. So, um, so like, like how many hours has the car taken, you know, like it's what, uh, 18, 15 months? Yeah, we've been working on it about 16 months, yeah. yeah. The last month we've had two guys full time on yeah. it, but yeah, that's about... Now chopping, how, how many how many inches? Uh, there's about five inches out of the glass and yeah. then the A pillars are laid back. Yeah. 
probably yeah. another five inches. Okay. So there's a total of about seven inches out of the roof. Yeah. Well, so the car was built around a graphic illustration. So we had a full size rendering on the shop wall okay. in one inch squares. Right. So of course, when you're building a car like this and you're working off of a drawing, there's a thing called perspective. It's yeah. very hard to make it look like the drawing. And so we kept on referencing back and forth and back and forth and measuring. And so it was a really different way to build a car. I mean, we've never done anything like that before. No, it was like I, building a house off a blueprint, basically. Yeah, really. Yeah. I mean, isn't that a neat way to do it? You know, Absolutely. sound up with a massive big drawing of the thing, you know? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And then all of the interior stuff, too, was all rendered before we touched anything. Really? Um, you know, everything was drawn out, so we had a, a bit of a plan. Well, not a bit of a plan, a lot of plan going yeah. in, so that uh, a lot of it is just basically let's execute once we get the drawing done. Yeah. But, and then, yeah, let's talk about the flathead. Eh? Let, let, let's, let's get into a bit of the engine sure. stuff here. What would you like to know? I'd, I'd like to know how big it is, you know, like how, how many horsepower it is, you know, like just because it's a flathead, you know, and so, Wayne and I both love flatheads. 284 yeah. cubic inch. Yeah. Scat reciprocating assembly, all balanced and blueprinted. Um, we took and machined the cylinder head logos off. I see that, yeah. So we made our own logos up. Uh, we had the machined in bronze. Um, and then we patinaed them to make it look yes. like vintage. Um, we had Taylor Cable make us a set of plug wires with the cloth covered wires. Right, yeah. And then they also made us up yeah, so the matching, matching yeah. hood welting. Yeah. And then Byron stitched them all with a cross stitch yes, yeah. over top of the hood. That, that looks good. It's just um, detail, isn't it, eh? Yeah. Lots of you details, know, yeah. lots of small yeah, no, stuff. This is the first car you built for Wayne. It is, yeah. I've worked on uh, several of Wayne's other show cars yeah. in the past, but this is the first turnkey car I've built for Wayne under is, my is own there company. Is there one in the wings? Uh, <laughs> who knows? We'll get through this one. We'll get through this one. Amazing car called Aquarius, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, you know, like it's it's just absolutely drop dead gorgeous. We've been looking at this car and passing by it a number of times. Could you tell us a little bit about it, please? Sure. Uh, the owner and I, James Hetfield, yeah. owns the car. I'm yeah. the builder. Yeah. A collaboration with Marcel and a number of other people. Uh, but you know, we wanted to do, uh, or I wanted to do, a car based off of the 165 Delahaye. Yeah. That was at the 1939 World's Fair in New York. Uh, it was called the Delahaye 165 Cabriolet. I always loved that car, yeah. and uh, but I, we wanted to put an American twist on it. So, this I, is I, what, I'm sure you've, this you've, is, you've this, yeah. yeah, this is the end result. The yeah. profile at the top looks like it was chopped. Uh, the side yeah. pipes are custom made. Yeah, like aren't they just gorgeous? Yeah. They, they, man, that that's that's a treatment I've never seen before. You know. There were a lot of tricks done to the car that we're able to do yeah. uh, because it's completely coach built. The only okay. thing that isn't hand built on this car are the side view mirrors. Okay. It's the only aftermarket yeah. Yeah. piece on the car. Wow. Uh, the car took about two years. We were filming my show at the same time. Because like that really, for a car like this, that's not a long build, is it? No, it's not a long build, especially when you, we did two other cars besides at, this at one and, and two yeah. seasons of my show, Rusted Development yeah. on Discovery. Okay. So, that is an incredible amount Rift of time development. to do it. Yeah, I've seen that show on TV a lot. Yeah, so... Uh, That's we your doing, show? Yeah, we Could, were doing, Cool, man. Okay. Sorry to stop you in the tracks That's there, all right. but, but it's a darn good show. So, uh, this is the end result. We yeah. wanted to do a French-looking car with yes. an American twist on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. A I, hot rod twist. I, I think you captured uh, that. I think we pulled it off. Oh, it's, it's, it's just beautiful, you know, like... You know, like the inside, you know, we like we, we were looking around, it was all the judges the other night, you know, the, the mother's judges, and they were just in awe of this thing, you know, it was just beautiful. Right. Yeah, and and the paint, like what, what you know, it's a PPG paint. It's a PPG paint, it's called uh, liquid metal. Yeah. Uh, Benny Flores and Art Hemsel double gunned it, they painted it. There's some big names there. Yeah, great guys, yeah. Uh, good friends, and uh, Ron Mangus did the interior, Sherms uh, in Sacramento did the did the chrome plating, yeah. and of course did the styling. Marcel yeah. shaped the body for me. Uh, what, what, what sort of drivetrain do you have in it? It's LS3, uh -huh. it's all crate motor throughout. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it drives great, it's on Art Morrison chassis. Uh, everything's powder coated on the yeah. underside. We left the underside bare aluminum yeah. with the powder coating uh, components uh, besides the frame. Uh, in the background, yeah. So uh, the aluminum really stands out on yeah. the underside. We didn't want to undercoat it or uh, or paint it, right? So we left it bare aluminum. Yeah. And uh, with the frame and all, like I said, the other stuff powder coated black yes. in the background. It looks great. Yeah, man, it, it is. It, it is. 
I, I love European cars like of this area, you know, yeah. but I love American cars too, you know, and here we have the mixture of the both. Right, well, yeah. you know, that's definitely an American yeah. car with French influences, yeah. let's say that. Yeah, no, Rick, that's, that's awesome, man. Congratulations on such a beautiful car, you know, a tribute to a craftsman's hands, isn't it? Well, thank I, you. Isn't it amazing, you know, like, and thank you to people being able to give people like you like the ability to bring out, you know, your talents in cars in there, you know? Well, it's one thing to be able to, uh, put a car together to yeah. build a car it's another thing to pull off a car on this level yes. when you oh, have the likes yeah. of Marcel Delay and some of the other guys yeah. uh, working on this car you can't miss yeah thank you so much Rick thank you very much thank indeed you. Okay. with Keith, man. How you doing, Keith? Doing good. Now, Keith, this this beautiful coupe. I mean, I I have a fetish for three window Ford coupes, man. And, good. And this one is fits the bill. So, can you tell us a little bit about you, honey? Yes, sir. This has been about a ten-year project. Yeah. We uh, started out. It's an original Henry Ford 33 Ford coupe. Um, we took it up to Eric at Pinky's Rod Shop. Pinky's Rod Shop. Whereabouts is that? They're in Windsor, Colorado. Windsor, Colorado. There and, you go. And they did the. the 90% of all the fabrication. Yep. Uh, I had a vision when I took the car to him. I wanted to run a 37 truck pickup yep. grill on the front. Uh, I wanted the old Bonneville stance. I yeah. wanted. How, how uh, much in the front and how much in the back? We got about three and a half in the front yeah. and, and about uh, two, two and a half yeah. in the back. That uh, gives it that right. Just right to give angle, that wedge yeah. chop. The front windshield is laid back yeah. just a little bit. They had to do. Wow, that, that laid. Wow, well, yeah, but I mean, that's. Uh, to, to the unsuspecting, like you wouldn't know that, would you? We just laid it back enough to try to get the rake the and, stance, the, and the yeah. stance and. and to make it look like it's running 100 mile an hour. And, and now, now we have this awesome power plant in there, right? Yes, sir. We went with uh, 354 yeah. Chrysler Hemi, yeah. running four Strongbergs. Yeah. So you said it and weighs about the same amount as a flathead? It weighs about the same amount as a flathead. Uh, during the build process, I was back and forth between yeah. trying to put a flathead or, or a Hemi. I wanted to stay Coup with a, yeah. a traditional type uh, 50s yeah. vintage motor. We settled in on the, the Hemi. and. Uh, of course, the car runs a full hood, or we have a full yes. hood with it, yeah. and one of uh, Eric's uh, uh, machine yes. works that he did for me are these air yeah. cleaners. I know, aren't uh, they cool? They, they were awesome. With, with the hood on it, we raised the motor up so yeah. we'd have plenty of clearance underneath, and with the regular air cleaners or stacks, they wouldn't clear the hood. Okay, so yeah. Eric came yeah. up with the idea to, to build the air it's, cleaners, it's, it's, kick them off to the side. This, this guy here has got a good brain. He does. He, yeah. He's good a wonderful. Good hands, too, to do yeah. that stuff. Wonderful. He's got a very good team at yeah. his shop. But what kind of transmission you got in it? We're running a Tremec 5-speed. Yeah. Um, other than that, pretty much everything's all yeah. old school. What, what, what's in the back? Back to a winner's quick change. A winner's quick change. Quick change. Model A, traditional yeah. type spring yeah. in, in the rear. And, and your rear tires, like, all that will look like cross plies. The, They're radials. They, the rears are radials. Yeah. They're Excelsior uh, radials from Coker Tire. Yeah. And the front Front uh, Excelsiors are bias ply. They yeah. don't make those in radios okay. yet. But now, uh, even even your wheels, you know, like you got a story about that. We uh, tried to find uh, period perfect type wheels. Yeah. I love the old Halibrands, and I love the the old spindle mount Halibrand. Yeah. They made the skinnies for the front, but they didn't make a matching wheel for the rear. Yeah. So um, we decided we got a hold of Mike Curtis, uh, Curtis Speed, and. and uh, Jimmy Smith was one of the artists that helped us come yeah. up with the design, and Mike whittled them out a billet yeah. for us. Oh, they, they, so, and you had yeah, them blasted, you know, like to give them that, that um, it, you know. Trying to stay with the cast finished, we yeah. took that billet wheel and shot peened it, yeah. and then had it Cerakoted to give the mag magnesium look to it. The, the, the inside and the interior, what, you know, can we have a look at that? Because, uh, yes, sir. Um, um, like the judges like this car, and, you know. Thank you. Look at that, hey, like the, it, it's, I mean, like, like the, the, the steering wheel the, the, right back. You, you got it in you, eh? Yeah, right back to you know the old race car type steering. Yeah. It's got yeah. Schroeder steering, okay, uh, cow steering. 
and it's one of those deals that you got to get a little bit used to. It's you know race car type steering, so when you turn it in the corner, which wherever you point the yeah. wheels, that's, that's where they go. Out, yeah. You got to pull it back when yeah. you come okay. around. So you kind of well, got to. Things are better getting used to. You got to plan your turns. You, you, you get swoops and skins. You know, you're yeah. pretty good at that. You get to go. Like, yeah. you know, like the detail, you know, of the steering arm coming out of there on the side. I mean, and that's you know, like it just matches like the gas filler cap. You know, yeah. it's and just beautiful. A lot of that detail again, it goes yeah. back to Eric and his team. Yeah. Pinky's uh, you know, pulling who, who, the detail. Who did the interior? Uh, Sid Chavers yeah. uh, out of California did the interior. Uh, he yeah. does awesome work. Yeah. I've been watching him for years. Yeah. And you, you got and a few cars too, haven't you? Yeah, we've we, we, we got so. about a half a dozen. Yeah. This is by far the nicest yeah. car I have. And yeah. it's been a, a project and something in my mind for over 10 years yeah. and uh, isn't it awesome to, to, to get it out of you know to get it there into reality right eric yeah. was able to bring it to life yeah. and and uh lubers yeah lube, lube it in the boot or the or the trunk as you say yeah and yeah. The, the the roll pan under the, yes. the back yeah uh, got louvers exhaust come up through there you know and, and like um, even your roof you know like like it's 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 all it, as it should be you know just like the modern tried to stay with pieces. old school yeah. pretty, pretty yeah. traditional type car we've oh, got yeah. a dropped axle you know under the front yeah. Beam. Uh, we're running 40 Lincoln brakes. Okay. Uh, another touch, Eric. Uh, the uh, backing yeah. plates are actually billet aluminum okay. that Eric builds in his shop. Yeah. Um, uh, the uh, the little scoops yeah. for the yeah. front of the brakes. Um, it's you know so, it's, it's one of those little cars that you want to take to bed every night, isn't it? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. And you know it's a car that uh, we try to make most of the changes as subtle as possible. Yes. You have to. This is a car that. You can come back and look at two or three times and yeah. see something different yeah. every time. Well, so. Keith, thank you so much. You, you know, you for bet. for building. Thank you for bringing it to see it. Otherwise, we wouldn't have got well, to see it. I, and show everyone every around, uh, everywhere around the world to see what sort of beautiful car you got. I'm, man. I'm honored to be a part it, of your show. Oh, man, thank no, you this, very much. This is a honey egg. Thank it's you. It's a honey. Well, thank, thank you, you man. Uh, and thank you to all the guys. You know that 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 you know. Put the sweat in that into this. I do. I'll, yeah. I, I, just one last guy yeah, I need please. to mention. The the, the paint and body yeah. work was done by a longtime friend of mine, Mark Warwick in Amarillo, Texas. He's been painting for me since he was 18. Yeah. This relationship goes on about 30 years. Really. And over about uh, 10 different cars. Really. So he uh, he's done an outstanding job. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's a it's, it's a mother's shine car. That's for sure. Thank you. Hey, thanks, Keith. You bet. Thank you Thank so you. much. Appreciate it. You know, tell us a bit more about the, you know, like what's been done inside the engine and that. Well, basically, the car's hand built from the windshield forward, yeah. so all the okay. engine covers, things like that, the rad support, all that stuff is all all hand built mm. pieces. Um, Oh, I don't know what else to really tell you. But like that, that injection system, like we've got to point that out to the camera, let them have a good look because, I mean, that's clever. That's, you know, I've right. never seen that. Like, how, how, who has seen anything like that before, you know? So basically, it's two halves CNC'd yeah. because you have to get all the ports of the, of all the, um, the air bleed screws and all the injector holes machined. And then there's a fuel rail that feeds the underside of it from the back of the intake. So when you look there, where's the fuel line? No, no, there's where's there's the injectors? There's Where There's nothing there. Yeah. So remember, this is big three fuel injection. So it's got a computer box inside yeah. the car, and, and, foldable camera with your laptop. The cable, yeah, yeah. And then also to uh, throttle position sensor is yeah. a cable that runs off of the passenger side back into the car mm. for the uh, throttle position sensor. Right. And then the map sensor, same thing, there's a port off the back of the intake. And the plenum of that little spacer is actually a big vacuum port. So the vacuum pulls off of all of yes, the ports yes. into the plenum, back into the car through the map sensor. And then of course, it's got a, uh, an 025 wire, 02 sensor. Yeah. And then, Woo, I mean, like, well, it's like, oh, no, you know, no, no, it, no, but isn't it cool? But you know, they ran you so know, shitty. These, these Hillborn systems yeah. were meant for wide, wide open, open throttle. throttle. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, it. Yeah. There's there's no yeah. part because of how they were. Like, so, like the Escadarian, like like constant acceleration track cam. Right. I, yeah. I used to run a constant acceleration track cam in my flathead, you know, okay. in four twins. And you'd, you'd be going down a hill, you'd back off the throttle, you'd see the, just the fuel pouring out of the little right. zoomies, yeah. you know? Yeah. It was pretty cool. So this has got an SK400 Junior camshaft yeah. in it. Uh, Mallory Unilite distributor that's been quite modified. It's basically, yeah. it's basically a crank trigger system. We gutted the distributor. Um, 
and used basically just a magnetic pickup on it, uh, like you'd have on a new LS motor or something yeah. like that. So it just basically communi communicates the computer system. Other than yeah. that, it doesn't really do other Isn't anything cool other than disturbance spark. Do, oh yeah, there's you know? some geniuses out there for sure. Okay. So now I'll let you spend some time with Byron, and he'll go over the rest of the body modifications yeah. with you. Well, they're, they're extensive, you, aren't they? You don't need me anymore. He's the guy. Him that Byron, <laughs> well, man, let, let's get into this body. Okay, what we did out back basically is everything from this belt line rearward is all hand fabricated from the back. Um, the deck lid has been shortened two inches. Uh, the corners have all been radiused. The uh, wheel arch has been lifted and raised mm. to fit to yeah, accommodate the yeah. 33 tall inch tire. Um, the rear valance is handmade. Uh, the the single, rear single nerf bar the rear bumper, yeah. yeah, the nerf bar, uh, basically the push bumper for the Bonneville theme. Um, that's, been, that's been snugly fit. That's beautiful. It has, you betcha. Yeah. yeah, we actually started with about a 12 foot piece of pipe so we could get a gradual yeah. enough bend yeah. on it without it kinking. And what, what are your taillights off? Uh, they are 37 buckets with custom uh, yeah. stanchions okay. and lenses. Um, what we did with the chop on the back window, uh, being that we've taken five inches out of it, they end up with a real small mail slot and the corners tend to get pretty sharp. Right. So what we did is we actually dropped the window um, an inch and five eighths as well. Okay. So the whole thing is slimmed out. So instead of taking five inches out of the window, we took about three, just yeah, so it okay. kind of proportions the car a little bit better. It, it's, it's got a stance in it. It does, it? yeah. It, it kind of all accommodates yeah. the, the flow of the car. Yeah, how, how many lubers in there? Um, I believe there's 157, I that's think. Yeah, there's enough. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's enough, there's enough, there's enough to enough. get the job done in there. Look at the gas cap. What, that's, yes, yeah, the that's gas something. cap is crafted by Crafty B. Yeah. Great, great piece of equipment. And he does a whole bunch of small detail trim pieces yeah. like that. I mean, um, it's, it's beautiful, it's, it's like matches the... You know, that's right, yeah, it's all yeah. Art Deco pieces, yeah. yeah. Moving forward, basically what we did is when we chopped the car, we dropped the roof five inches, but we've laid the A-pillar back yeah. several inches as well. Um, so it worked out better just to handcraft the, yeah. the cowl and the firewall and start from yeah. scratch. So we built everything forward from there. Yeah. Um, basically the lower cowl section, all of this typically on, a, on original 33, uh, gradually goes uphill to accommodate fender profiles. Yes. And we've just... Scratch built all that yeah, just to right. just to hide the frame rails to get a little different profile it's, it's, on it. Like, can we look inside? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh wow, that's like distressed leather. It is. It's distressed leather leather with German square weave carpeting. Yeah. Um, Pinky's Hot Rod Shop has done a lot of the machine work inside. Yeah, that's the name you hear a lot. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Great craftsman. So all the dash pieces, um, now, classic instruments has done the gauge cluster. And, and the steering column, like the long steering column. Yeah. yeah. That, that's, that's it's really got what they call the Schroeder style steering system, okay. and it's it's sprint yeah. car or marine yeah. based. Um, Johnson's Hot Rod Shop built the steering wheel. And what, what sort of gearbox you got in this? Um, it has got a TKO 600 five-speed. Okay. Yeah, and a Tremec. Is it a Hellebrand on the back? It is a Hellebrand, yes, yeah. you betcha. What, what sort of gears are you running um, here? Not, not you know what, I think they're 410s. I four think tens, you can okay. reverse them, so I can't yeah. remember exactly what yeah. we're set up with at the moment. And I, I like the roof. That, that, that's a yeah, it's a hearts cloth insert, so it's actually all grafted in sheet metal, and I made a plug for yeah. it just to replicate. Yeah. And, and that's a lovely satchel you got on the door there. Yeah, just a little bit of map yeah. pocket storage. Yeah, yeah. like an I old mean, Gucci purse, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, the roof is is grafted in sheet metal, and I left a half inch recess. I made a plug in it just so yeah. we could cover it in hard cloth instead of having wooden yeah. bows. I saw, I saw you like brushing it before. You yeah, know, yeah, just cleaning the lint. A lint. Yeah, yeah. The, the lights really show yeah. the lint off in here. Yeah. I mean, this is um, it's a work of art. You know. Thank you. I, I mean, it's yeah. This is just another one of their mother's cars that the the judges were all over like a rash. Yeah, we, we've had a we've had a great reception on it yeah. for sure. Well, Byron, thank you so much, man. For, hey, thank you, you know, for having us. Thank That's you great. for building this. Thank you for letting me build it. Absolutely, I gotta thank you. So the interior dash panel is again another panel built by Eric and his team and we had custom gauges made by Classic Instruments. Uh -huh. the, uh, Eric nicknamed this, this car the Federale Coupe. Federale Coupe. The Federale Coupe and so from that the uh, gauges all have a Federale design. They've yeah. got a five star badge. Five star badge on your gear shift and, knob. And uh, the gear shift knob all yeah. tied together. Um, other 
details on the interior. Uh, Eric, uh, they machine the little foot pads on yes, the yes, floor, the aluminum yes. pads that you can see. Well, that's, and, and on the gears? And, and, and on, oh, yeah, well, and on the, the line lock. That, that little setup there is actually the safety door locks. Safety door locks? Uh, yeah, they, well. they're, you can reach them from the center. They lock both doors. Well, okay. When you get in, shut the doors, pull the cables back, That's something and, I've and the doors are pinned. Um, not that it's, it's not been around, but it hasn't been around. It hasn't it, been no, around. it's it was something we decided. They're, really? they're actually you can you find those levers every now and then at yeah. slot meet. They are World War II bomber door type yeah. levers, and uh, we yeah, decided. They have, like, I see the lock in there, you know. Yeah, yeah. So we decided to use them for door locks. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, like there's a, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of thought gone into all the little components that have gone because it all fits, you know. It, there's yeah. a, there's a lot of detail. Uh, Eric had a lot of discussion back and yeah. forth. You know, what do you think about this, about that, and again, he did, he took a vision and, and brought yeah. it to life. I love the steering column here, Keith. That's, the, that's a that's real old style, isn't it? Yeah, the steering column was a custom built to attach to the Schroeder steering box, yeah. and we're using a Limework steering wheel uh, to pull it all together. Uh, again, Eric made the tack mount that yeah, bolted hey, that on look, the that looks perfect, doesn't it? on the steering column uh, again to highlight the gauges. A, I love this little touch here. That, that's real Lakester style, you know. Yeah, car, the, li little pieces like that and yeah. the detail, getting them coated and, and painted just yeah. the right colors is what brings us I mean, it, it, all it together. Is, it's just the right color, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So it's one thing looking at cars, you know, and they're as beautiful as yours. When you look at everything, it's a package. It's you a know, package. like nothing looks out of place. You you, you got to take your time and make yeah. everything flow and yeah. go together like like it was meant to that, be there. That's, that's the word I heard judges saying: flow. Flow. It's, yeah. it's got to look like it yeah. was meant to that's be. That's what they've said. We we need to see cars that flow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, thank you very much. Thank you again. Thank you for bringing your car along. You know? uh, my pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah, man, this is that's unbelievable. Wow. I, you know, this is something like from Mad Max or something, but you know, you've got to be an Aussie to appreciate that, I guess. But hey, what do you think of this, man? It's a pretty cool truck, mm. or whatever it is. You like that? Yes, yes. Yeah. But this thing is just a head case, an absolute head case. Hey, what do you think of this, man? Oh, it's a work of art. Yeah? W wonder how long it took to build. I couldn't even imagine all the welds. Oh, and right the... It started oh. April 2015, so... Oh, yeah? That's awesome. Six months. Six months to build? Wow, that's... That's not long, is it, in the scope of things? <laughs> Gee whiz, man. I'd like to see this moving. Uh, Decent-sized rubber on the back and all. Valerian steel. What's Valerian steel? You know what Valerian steel is? Yeah. <laughs> what do you hey? What do you think of this, man? You think this is pretty cool? Very hot. Yeah. Do you like this? Is it, yeah, it's very much. Yeah. Artist and the industrial. Industry. Yeah. Like what? What was in the guy's brain, huh? Parked beside this poor man's Cadillac here, yeah, which in other words is a Rolls Royce. Awesome bike, man. Look at that. That's a 32 wheel on this bagger. Not bigger, but bagger. 32 inch 